Holly Marshall, and I am here with Marshall Pyle, also known as Grandpappy, a musician and an artist here in Asheville, and he is about to open his latest exhibit, um, a visual art, at Rosetta's. We're sitting on the porch at Rosetta's right now, and we're going to talk a little bit about his upcoming show. So, you were just telling me, just to kind of give everybody the, the rundown, that you've been in Asheville off and on since the early 90s, and, and you were in... Um, GFE for a while, and I know you have your own band, Grand Peppy and the Brothership. Mm -hmm. Any other musical projects right um, now? I used to, well, I mean, I've got, a, I've got an album that I just recorded uh, that's going to be coming out um, as soon as I can get it mixed and mastered properly so that it sounds right, you know. Um, but, um, and that's pretty much a solo thing. Uh, a friend of mine and I uh, put it together. Um, and, and the Brothership, I play here and there, but not really like, not beating it, you know. I just try to make music, kind of like the way I make my art, you know. It's like I just kind of like try to just express it when I feel it. Um, because I make art too, like I, just, I do them all, I like, juggle them all. Sometimes I'm really all about only making music, and sometimes I'm really all about making only art. You know? When it seems like it's all just legality. So I noticed um, with the show that there's, it seems like there, some of them have the graffiti over them, which kind of feels a little bit like hip hop, and then some of them have definite political themes. Is, is there kind of a general theme to the show, or mm. what are you calling the show? Well, this show is um, called uh, A Visual Transmission from Throzwabble, and um, Th Throzwabble, um, my nickname is Grandpappy, when I was in high school, we had this group of kids down in Florida, and we were called the Stankos. <laughs> and uh, and then Throzwabble was like this band that some of me, me and some of the guys had. And then I eventually turned Throzwabble into the planet that we were all from. And and I've just kept it alive because it's it sounds good to say. And so like uh, the the Throzwabble transmission is like this. Uh, story of like creation of art and music and um, it's like uh, heart light is like this thing that, like um, I don't know how to explain it really that like on Throzwabble everybody is like expressing themselves like creatively like in all these different ways and, uh, and then, like, putting it out through their hearts and their minds together anyway so yeah um, visual transmission from the Thraswell. So it's like uh, music, yeah, graffiti, like kind of style, like uh, cartoon, kind of cartoony, um, sci-fi, like, uh, kind of science fiction -y, uh, planets, uh, spaceships, flying cars. I've kind of gotten the impression both um, from the Brothership and from your art that um, I feel like what you're doing is a, is a lot about like seeking um, intellectual freedom um, in yourself, but also kind of inspiring other people to sort of seek out that that freedom from I don't know from from society, or from spirituality, or whatever it is mm. that's holding people back. Is, is that am yeah. I kind of on the right track? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, because I mean, you know, it's just like I just kind of see like everything that the way our society is going, like the breakdown of, uh, of the, the political system, you know, it's all positive and negative, uh, spiritual and, you know, non-spiritual, non like, to me it all makes sense that, to try and, like, express um, whatever you want to that doesn't, like, negatively harm you know, even if what you're expressing is a negative thing, like in heavy metal or punk rock music, um, some of those other styles of music, and sh you know, where like it, the expression seems real angry and whatever, but really what they're expressing is just like what they're seeing, and what's what's going on yeah. in society. But um, and that's what I, I try to do with my music and art. It's like I want to have a positive impact on on people. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily try to make music that's kid friendly or adult friendly I'm trying to make it human friendly and with my art too you know it's like it might look a certain way but i'm i'm really wanting to hopefully have a uh, positive impact 
through it, you know, by using bright colors and in my music, like I try to be very melodic and harmonious, you know, uh, harmonies that are pleasing to the ears. Yeah, you know. yeah, no, I get it. So, are you gonna perform at your at your art opening? I am not. Oh. No, because it just it's like it's enough to even try and for me because I just, my mind is kind of like all over the place sometimes so to try and focus like on the art show so um, I'm gonna have my friend uh, DJ Joyner is going to make music um, Sunday what is it July, July 15th. Yeah, yeah Sunday July 15th here at Rosetta's uh, from 6 to 10 and uh, yeah she's gonna be uh, providing music she's a local comedian I don't know if I should say her real name or if she wants to use her superhero DJ name. So. We'll, we'll stick with the superhero DJ name. It yeah. seems fitting with, yeah. the, with the theme. All right, so Sunday, July 15th, 6 to 10 here at Rosetta's. Some great art, DJ music, and pure expression. Should be great. Cool.